So we just appreciate the fact that you came in here and you gave Hannah something to focus on. You know, she she never talked about boys, she never talked about love, and it's just it's just a beautiful thing for us to know that she has you in her life, a, a man that's strong in faith, you know, someone with huge amounts of respect for just for everyone. All right, and I know that you're gonna spill that type of faith, love into and with Hannah. Hannah became his everything. You don't know. Like he, this guy was like. I pray you keep God in the center of your marriage because when times get tough and times will get tough, God will be your firm foundation. I wish you guys nothing but happiness, devotion, faith, and above all this, I wish you guys genuine love. Cheers and congratulations to the new Mr. and Mrs. 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 Tippins. <laughs> the biggest thing that I want you guys to remember though is love never fails. All right. So as long as you guys have love for each other, and you guys respect each other, you guys will be here old with gray hair at some point at this table talking to your little people. All right. So we love you guys. You know, we just hope you guys have a blessed uh, a marriage. Um, and just thank you everyone for enjoying this moment with us. Dear my love, the day is finally here. I can't describe all the feelings I'm feeling right now. I'm so excited, so nervous, so stressed, but so happy. And even despite all those overwhelming feelings bubbling up inside, I can't help but have this sense of peace in my heart. My soul knows that you are the one. You are my person. And you are the one I want to spend the rest of my life with. You are literally a gift from God and an answer to my prayers. I am blessed beyond measure that you chose me and know that I will choose you every day for the rest of my life. I know we've experienced so much of the good and the bad together, but just know we still have our whole lives ahead of us. But I'm just so happy I get to experience it with you by my side. I can't wait to see your handsome face, bub. Here's to the beginning of our forever. I love you. <laughs> love always. Hannah Rose. But then as I kept thinking about it, I'm like, even if I wore my best clown suit that I have in my closet, I would never be able to take away the attention from Hannah. All right, so she, she's my beautiful baby girl. Don't cry. You're going to make me cry. <laughs> And, you know, Hannah is just such a sweet little girl, and just like her mommy, all right? And she's very strong inside, just like her daddy, until she starts crying, and then I'm going to start crying, and then you'll see my soft side. So just venture, you know, I do thank you. Just like, just like Haven said, Hannah had never, ever had a focus on guys, I guy, any guy. And then she started talking about this guy, all right? So we were very interested on who this guy really was. All right, so we definitely appreciate it. We, we love the blessing that you are to the family. All right, uh, I would just warn you that you've already been around the family for a while. You see mommy? That's a mini version. <laughs> Be ready for that. Okay. <laughs> Dear Hannah, my love, I can't believe the day is finally here. Soon I'll be standing before you, and without a doubt in my mind, I know you'll look so beautiful because I don't need my sight to confirm that I already know. As I sit here and write, I can't help but think of how far we've come, from the cute girl that I admire from afar at work when I was too shy to approach you, to my best friend who I call my soulmate. I can't believe I get to hold your hand forever as your husband. 
I thank God every day for sending his most beautiful, honest, caring, God-fearing, faithful servant to stand by my side forever. We're almost there, my love. I love you more than anything in this world. My soulmate, future hubby, Venture. <laughs> I'm so excited! I was thinking um, last night, I was praying about a few things, and I was reminded of our, our counseling session leading up to this. And one of the questions in our counseling session, if you remember, was um, I asked them, how do you know um, that the other person loves you? Hannah, how do you know that Venture loves you? And, and Venture, how do you know that Hannah loves you? What are the things they've done to prove, or love and action, if you were to show that they actually love you? How do you know that you two are in love in that sense? And I remember Venture, your answer, and I was writing down these notes. So these are specifically from you. These are your words. You said, she saved me when I was in a dark place in my life, and she builds me up, amen? You said, that's how you know that she loves you because she was there for you just like that. And I just think that's wonderful and that was beautiful. I asked Aunt Hannah the same thing, and Hannah, you said, when he looks at me, he makes me feel like I'm literally the only woman in the room. He makes me laugh even when I don't want to. Amen. Is that what you said? <laughs> exactly. Amen. That's wonderful. So the reason why I bring this up is just to remind you guys and to tell you and exhort you in a wonderful way. Don't forget that. Amen. Don't forget the ways that you show love to one another. Don't forget the ways that you knew that each other loved one another and abound in that. Keep doing that and ask the Lord to give you more ways to display wonderful love toward one another. Amen. May it not die after this day. May it keep on abounding and growing. I believe this is going to be the key. Love. With love, we profit all things. Amen. Christ-like love. So keep on loving one another the same way. So now... Hannah rose from the day that, you know, we first started talking to each other. You know, it it's been quite a journey from the highs and from the lows you know there's there's been so much that we've we've gone through through just the amount of time that we've known each other but there's no doubt in my heart or in my mind that I want to be by your side forever to look towards our futures together to all the adventures that we're going to have and the adventures that we're going to go on to and the new lives that we're going to live and hopefully in the future, a new life that we would bring into this world. And I promise mom will we'll name it after you. <laughs> so, I promise to be the anchor through your storms to always help keep you afloat. I promise to be that shoulder that you can always lean on, the shoulder that you can always cry on. I promise to be the punching bag that you need whenever you need to <laughs> relieve some of the stresses, stresses in life and I promise to love you for as long as I live with every breath in my body to the end of time. I love you. <laughs> my love, one of the words that comes to my mind when I think of you is home. Growing up, I've always moved. I was always on the go. I lived in many different states, traveled to different countries, and met so many different people. But despite everything I've seen and the people I've met, I've never felt that true comfort or belonging. That was until I met you. My love, amidst everything that God has thrown my way, whether it be confusion or uns of uncertainty or about the new seasons of my life, but you've given me clarity <laughs> amongst the confusion and you have assured me when I feel like I'm drowning in uncertainty. You've given me a best friend I can laugh with, a shoulder I can cry on, and arms to run to for safety. You've given me a home. <laughs> you are my home. <laughs> People always ask me when was the time I knew that you were the one I want to spend the rest of my life with. And I always say, it was the first time you held my hand. You held it, and <laughs> I swear to you, it felt like I found a piece of me that I've been looking for <laughs> all my life. 
I, a piece that I've been longing for that was right in front of me. In that little moment where you took my hand for a minute, that's when I knew I wanted to hold yours for the rest of my life. So thank you <laughs> for taking my hand because I'm never letting go. <laughs> so Bonaventure Tiffin, thank you for being my missing piece. Thank you for being my home. And today I promise I will do everything in my power to make you feel the exact same way for the rest of our lives. By the power vested in me by God and in accordance with the laws of the island of Guam, it is indeed my pleasure to pronounce to you husband and wife. Amen. Venture, you may now kiss your bride. when you start your new chapter together that you remember 1 Corinthians 13, 4, 8. Love is patient, love is kind, love does not envy, it does not boast, it is not proud, it does not dishonor others, it is not self-seeking, it is not easily angered, it keeps no record of wrongs, love does not delight in evil but rejoices in truth, it always protects, always trusts, always hopes, and always preserves.